Dallas County Medical Society. Patients and some physicians even are confused about who can safely get an mRNA vaccine for COVID. There's a lot of talk about allergic reactions. People ask, if I get a rash from penicillin pills, or if I have a reaction to IV contrast dye, can I get a vaccine? So here are the facts about allergies. If you're allergic to any of the components of the COVID vaccine itself, including two chemicals called polysorbate or polyethylene glycol, then you should not get the COVID vaccine. This also means that if you have an allergic reaction to the first dose of the COVID vaccine, you should not get the second dose. If you've had an immediate allergic reaction to any other injectable medication or vaccine, then you need to talk to your doctor specifically about your risk to determine if it's okay to go ahead with the vaccine. If you and your doctor decide to proceed, you'll need to be observed for 30 minutes after you get the vaccine to be sure that you don't have any type of reaction. If you've had a reaction to an oral medication like an antibiotic or to a food or latex or environmental allergies like hay fever or pet allergies, you can get the COVID vaccine. If your reaction to any of those things was the most severe type of allergic reaction called anaphylaxis, then you should be observed for extra time after the shot to be safe. The normal observation period is 15 minutes, but if you've had anaphylaxis, 30 minutes is recommended. How do you know if you've had anaphylaxis? Anaphylaxis is a reaction that usually involves difficulty breathing, may cause wheezing and tongue or throat swelling. It can involve skin itching or hives. It can involve low blood pressure or a weak or rapid pulse. Uh, and can cause dizziness or fainting. It requires emergency treatment with antihistamines and a medicine like epinephrine. Generally, people know if they've had this type of reaction and sometimes their doctors have even recommended they carry an EpiPen with them in case of a reaction. So what does all this mean? It means for most people, it is safe for you to get the vaccine. All facilities that administer the COVID vaccine should be prepared for an emergency. But it's a good idea to ask the facility where you'll be getting the injection if they have an EpiPen and the other supplies that they may need. And all patients need to be observed after the vaccine for at least 15 minutes, 30 in some cases. But if you have questions about the vaccine or its safety for you, talk to your doctor about it. Try to be patient because doctors are getting a lot of calls about this right now, but we want everyone who can get the vaccine to get it as soon as we're able to do so, so we can really get this in our rearview mirror. Thank you.